Buongiorno and welcome back to Koi Fish Johnny. We are on the road. We're going to the Koi Fish uh, dealers right now. This is probably the most exciting part of the hobby and when you get into it or when you first think about getting into the hobby, this is the part that turns you on the most. Picking your fish, going having a look, uh, getting all giddy, probably buying too many, definitely buying more than the wife said you could have. Uh, that's probably what I'll be doing today. No, I won't actually, no, I won't, because she's not put a limit on it, which is dangerous for me. I'm just about to get to the Koi Fish Dealers, uh, UK in Ishigoi, which is one of my favourite places in the entire world. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. Um, it went into lockdown during lockdown, and um, it's systematically coming back to, well, at the minute, you have to book appointments to go and see them. Um, so, but they do have a, a Facebook page, which I'll drop in the link and they do do amazing fish. Every fish that I've ever had off these guys, uh, which is like the likes of Fred, Jagger, Otis, Kiki, um, that Sankey that I never named, which was amazing, which I'm looking to sort of get something a little bit similar today. Um, every fish that I've had off them has been a mega grower. And that's what you want in this hobby, you want a mega grower. So that's, that's what I'm gonna be looking for today. Some nice markings, something with potential something to watch the markings grow and also i'm gonna try this is the, the really really difficult part is to try and find one with character obviously you know i miss fred like mad and the pond feels empty so I, if i spot one with character i don't care i'm having it that's the way it is uh but i've got to try and sort of like watch the bowl watch the pond see if i can see one moving a bit more more confident to the top more confident around human beings uh one that's going that basically just wants to be fed. Uh, that's what I'm going to be looking for, as well as beautiful looking fish. There's no point in having like a crazy character that's goddamn ugly. Like, there's already one of them in this story. Uh, so, <laughs> so uh, that's the way it is. So, anyway, I'm running um, four minutes late. So, I'm going to make this super, super, super short because I want to get in there. I hate it when people make me wait. And now I'm four minutes late, which is 240 seconds, and that isn't acceptable. So, I'll hopefully be able to video when I get back in there. Um, I don't know whether he's going to allow me, I haven't spoken to him properly about it. Um, it probably will be a bit of a weird experience for him because he isn't one of the guys on the, or oh, Dave isn't one of those guys that are like super social media people uh, like there are out there today. Um, so he is a little bit coy, shall we say. <laughs> Wish me luck guys. Okay guys, I've just arrived now at UK Nishigoi, which in my opinion is the best place to go for Mackay. It's definitely the best place that I've been uh, in my young koi fish journey and the advice and guidance you get here is amazing and behind me you can see just a few of the ponds. I think these just said there's like a hundred thousand fish here so uh, if you let me I might cover a few more ponds than just the sales pond but for now we're just going to walk around um, and have a look. The first bowl that you come over is the hungry little hippos, a little toe, toe size sort of thing that just feed like mad so you'll get a lot of character straight off them. Uh, in fact, let's just walk over to the bottom now. Whoa. You see? In fact, I'm going to flip my big ugly mug out of the way. I'll have a little roll around and we'll get and see what we can see. And then I'm going to pick my fish without the camera because it's too hard work picking koi out while recording at the same time. But as you can see here, it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. It's top of the line, uh, top of the line, they've got some absolutely beautiful fish. So I'm going to flip my mug out of the way and we'll have a gander. Okay guys, so if you see those two fish, they're actually being looked after for a friend. They're here, like has been Dave's been taking care of those fish, they're not actually for sale, they're just uh, the Benigoy and the Yamabuki over, I think it is, that are just here on tour by me. Ok 
Okay, so that's aisle one done. Uh, there's some very, very nice fish there. As you can see, the, young, the younger ones normally feed like mad, so they are either a little bit more confident, but just having a look into this pond, there is some nice fish there. Some go sanky fish, and they look confident they're coming to the top. So let me flip you back round, and what we're gonna do is, we've finished that hook line, we're gonna do this line, the ponds now, and we're gonna have a gander at what's in, if there's any characters knocking about. So make sure that you look at the fish and see whether you can spot a couple there. Because like I say, all these are for sale. If you can spot a couple for yourself, but if you can spot any characters for me, anyone that's popping out, that's just a little bit of a nutcase, that's what we're looking for right now, as well as beautiful. you saw it then guys but i've just seen a crashy guy that looks exactly like fred literally came up and just made eye contact with him. what an absolutely beautiful fish and i've already committed to a crashy guy um in my last video so i won't get him plus he just looks to spit to fred so if you want a, a card that's like fred here he is and the prices in this pond are just ridiculous for the size of card that's in there So I'm going to head up, that's the shape of this part, sail section done, we're going to end up up the top where they've got the backy showers, heading down the back and I've got some fish there, um, it is boiling in there by the way, I'm sweating my backside off. Right guys, I've been walking around the ponds and I think this is where I'm going to be choosing my koi from. Um, I'm going to pop you over the top now, just interrupted the uh, other little walk around here, just to tell you that I think there's a couple that have caught me eye in here, have a gander and see what you think. Okay guys, so that's the tour. I'm gonna bang, I banged all the air stones, but I, all the bottom drain air, aeration fingers back on because it is boiling hot. I'm gonna go and have a little chat with Dave now. Um, yeah, I've got a secret pond that I've been allowed into once and I'm hoping I'm really, really, as I'm sweating back out, I can take you into this pond because in this pond up there are some monster fish. I mean, top of the line, top of the draw, best fish I've ever seen in my life, including some of the videos I've seen online. In this pond, 
and lost for words, but I don't know whether he'll let me video in it, so I'll have to ask him at some point. But as you can see, we just walked around the sales area there of the fish that are on, for sale in this particular area, and there are some beauties, and the prices are just ridiculous. And if you can do, uh, Dave has had a bit of an unfortunate event recently where his Facebook page got took down. He had thousands of followers, his Facebook page got taken down. And the reason it got taken down is just due to uh, Facebook's policies, which has been something that baffled me. Because when I go on Facebook or when I go to look at something, I always want to see the price. I hate it when someone advertises something, something for sale, don't put the price on, and then you're left guessing, yeah, I like it, but I don't know how much it is. Anyway, Dave was putting the prices on his fish. That is against Facebook's policy, so they banned his page and it was taken down. So he's le literally back in the stage of growing his channel, growing his Facebook page. But if you're wondering why the prices aren't on there, it's because of Facebook, not because Dave or the dealer's trying to trick you into something. It isn't that. They want he, they want to put the price on. He wants to be clear, to clear. He wants to be straightforward. He wants people to know and not like build up a dream in their head and overspend. It's just down to the livestock policy with Facebook that they can. But rest assured, the value for money in this place is just absolutely ridiculous. But if you can do me a favour, because it helps Dave and Dave helps me, uh, one hand washes the other type of thing. If you can go onto his Facebook channel, which I will drop in the link, and it's UK Nishi Guy. Uh, if you can go and give him a like and a sub sub his subscribe, is it, on Facebook? I'm not a Facebook man. Um, but if you can like his channel and follow the journey there, also there are some amazing guys there. I'm really getting bumped back up to where we should be, because it's world class this stuff, absolutely world class. So please do that for me guys. And I am gonna go and select a few out the pond and try and blag him into me, letting me in the back room. Okay guys, Belton news. I have picked out two absolute specimens with my help from the expert Dave, who has been absolutely outstanding because I've been here all day. I've been here for hours. No, I've not been here for hours. I've been here for a little while, uh, picking out fish after fish after fish after fish. But these two, I have literally fallen in love with. As you know, I lost um, my two kahakus and quite a lot of my gold sanky from my last um, few. So I've gone with these two little belters in here. I literally have had, I, I, uh, I have, sorry, I'm a bit excited. But I've literally had a lot of fish out here. I've gone through a lot, but these are the lads that I've settled on. And you will not believe the size of them, the quality of them, and the price of them, which I might tell you then, I might not, but we might do. Let's walk over to the bowl and have a gander. Okay, flip myself out of it, straight down into the fish. That nice big kahaku, he's in at 36 centimetres. And we've got, what's this one, Dave, the shower? The shower, I think he was at 32. He was at 32. And what's, exci what's exciting about him is look at that Benny and the pattern to emerge from him. Look at that fish. Absolutely sensational. That is worth watching it grow, subscribing to the channel just on the basis of watching this fish to see what it can emerge and what it can be like. And it is an unbelievable fish, both are. Both fish. Can I say the price, Dave? Uh, if you wish. <laughs> 125 quid a piece. Absolute belters. Steel. This <laughs> is steel. Right, so let me flip. Let me flip myself in, you can see there, 125 quid a piece. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful fish, and ones to watch. And I'm sure you'll all agree that that, for the price, is ridiculous. So like I said before, get yourself on Facebook, get support in UK Nishigoi. It is an absolutely beautiful place. We've literally scratched the surface of what they've got here. This is just the sales area. And I'm hoping that if you guys support me, to support Dave, to support UK Nishi Guy to grow, he will allow me to go into the rest of the complex to have a look around at some of the bigger fish, the bigger ponds and everything like that. So do me a favor, please like, please subscribe, and please get on that on Facebook, UK Nishi Guy, and sit to see what's happening. And also, you can get a banging fish like I've got, because that shower, watching that pattern emerge, is amazing. The kahaku, the little white line, we're hoping will spread all the way over the top and break the pattern into like a two-step. Um, either way, it's going to be built in. I'm going to be taking them home, showing the wife soon. I think she thought I was getting one fish, now I've got two. You know the score.
I'm absolutely buzzing with them fish. I think Dave was a bit gutted when I left and took the, the prized gems to watch grow. Yeah, absolutely buzzing. This is a feeling when you get back in the car after leaving, after leaving the koi dealer uh, and you've got your fish all bagged up and you're really buzzing with them. This is a feeling of pure ecstasy, pure passion like it. Like, I'm literally absolutely buzzing. This is one of the best parts of the hobby and this is why you should build a koi pond if you've not got one and why you should get some koi because it is going to be an amazing trip over the next few years or next year for sure. Watching the Benny, watching the Sumi, watching the fish grow, whether the Kahaku is going to go into a two-step or maybe not a two-step but maybe if that pattern leans over the top um, and also that shower, wow. Wow, when Dave bowled that shower up, I was like, I just literally couldn't believe it. I knew that one was the one for me. I had my eyes on a few others earlier on, but nothing got me giblets rocking and cooking like that one did. It is like, wow, I'm gonna have that. I'm having it, I'm having it. He's in back seat, actually, Look, there he is. Oh, there they are. The bagged up in back seat. We've got to drive now, um, something like 12 minutes, which isn't like, um, which isn't, outrageously long but when you got these fishing car you drive slow you drive careful <laughs> like a little um um sunday driver anyway i'm gonna have a go see you when i get back hi guys so i've arrived back at koi fish johnny headquarters with my two fish now the problem i've got or that i've just thought of is that i told the wife i'd only spend a certain amount as you know i've spent 250 quid on my two koi which are absolute bargains um by the way and they are amazing fish they are the ones that i wanted they are literally i wanted to get two i'm surprised they only left with two because the amount of fish that were there beautiful was just unbelievable that i only left with two fish so long story cut short i'm going to go in and tell the wife that i paid 20 quid for each one i know i don't think she's gonna have it but I'm going to try and then when she badges me or if she badges me a little bit more i'll say 50 quid a piece hope, pull, hope to pull the wool over her eyes and if you watch this darling i'm sorry for lying i love you really you ready jaxie you open it come on what's in here fishies fishies say fishies let's get this side what oh Bang your head off my bum. <gasps> Fishies. And that. What are they? Fishies are. Two fishies. Can you see them? Oh. Jaxie, what's in there? In two, there. Two, what is it? They put it there. Two fishies? Cotton. Ooh. Fishies. Or well, keeping the monster on because he's coming out to have a look. Oh, they're quite big. Why is it, Jaxie? Did we call him Jaffa? Jaffa? Yeah, Jaffa. Because he looks like a Jaffa kitty. He's orange, like it's a Jaffa kitty. Like Jaffa. Jaffa. <laughs> Jaffa and Marty. <laughs> yeah. Same kind of short t-shirt, Harry. So really. A big bun. He's a big one, yeah. Do you like him, yeah. Jaxie? A big bun, yeah. Is he a nice fishy? A big one now. Yeah. Okay guys, so you heard it first now, apparently. We've got one named after a bloody Jaffa cake. Um, which is the kaku is now called Jaffa. Jaffa cake. I'm hoping he turns into a beef cake, that's for sure. But one of the things, that the, the other one's called Marty. All right, and the reason why it's called Marty is because one of my subscribers was generous enough to, uh, there's a little button somewhere around the bottom and it's like a tip or a thank you or a something like that. I don't understand it 100%. But it dropped me a little tip and it was my first one ever uh, as a thank you. And it just made me feel really good. No one has to do this. You really, really don't at all in the way. And But I just want to share my experience of receiving it. It felt absolutely amazing. Uh, it was like £6.99 or £7.99. It's gone towards Marty, which is now in there. And if you don't know why it's called Marty, it's because the guy, his last name is Bird. And Marty Bird out of Ozarks is one of my favourite characters ever. And I think Marty is quite a cool name for this particular fish. I'm just letting him um, climatise or the proper professional word for it. I can't remember, which sounds very posh, but I don't know it. But basically, I want this water in here to go the same temperature as the water outside it, or very, very close. I was going to um, float them in the bowl and then put them in the bowl water and then put the fish from there into there. 
but for now I just thought it'd be nice with the, the lads in the pond uh, to see the new friends Marty and Jaffa I'm not sure I'm going to change that on Sly you know uh, but Marty and Jaffa see how they got in the pond uh, I'll snap back to you in a minute when I release them or once I release them to show you that they're all right okay guys so we just literally punk, punked Marty and good old Jaffa back into the pond there and they are now socializing with their new friends let me pop you over the top so you can have a little gander yeah there's Jaffa oh and there goes Marty wow before I got these uh, Marty was clearing out my favorite but now looking at give me them okay there's a bit of parent neglect for you didn't move the scissors because I had to cut the elastic bands because it was ridiculously hard to get them off um, but all in all looking at that kaku absolutely sensational and watching that uh, shower the markings on between his head if you saw between his eyes you had a nice under the under the surface of like a grey patch of the sumi coming to the surface through the middle of the eyes that should be amazing to watch over the next year I mean I'm just watching now this is what the koi do there they are they're both there uh, the others have welcomed it into the pond um, it feels like there's new energy back in the pond and I am absolutely buzzing to see these lads back in. I'm still missing good old Fredster with his energy because he would have been up pecking at the back bag to get them out of it. The others, because they're more reserved, were down the bottom, but we're not going backwards, we're going forwards. And I'm really happy, really. In fact, the whole group are here now. Um, so Marty and Jaffa are cakes. No, Marty and Jaffa both settling into the pond. In fact, I'm already seeing the energy change in there. They're all like wandering around together there, swimming up and swimming down and moving around. As I say that, they've all gone to the back to hide, but yeah. Oh no, guys, I really hope you've enjoyed that. And like I say, if you just pop over, because Dave has been an absolute gem, top, top, top bloke at UK Nishigai, you do have to book an appointment to go and see them because the, because the place is that beautiful. They used to get so many tourists just going and spending time there uh, because it is just ridiculously nice. Um, and now they just do appointment only so you can come in and, the, uh, and Dave can give you a bit of dedicated attention to what you're trying to achieve with your pond so his advice is second to none he's a top 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 bloke and he's going to be posting um, some of the fish that I didn't scoop up because there were some almost there today I wish I would have recorded a little bit more but to be honest I was a little bit nervous being out my uh, comfort zone out my garden and recording because I'm not one of them people that just pop out a camera and make people feel uneasy it was um it was an experience I absolutely loved it but Dave has said potentially in the future if this video gets enough likes <laughs> i'm always joking but i can go back and video the mega pond and they've got two mega ponds in there and then they've got ponds around the back there is like a hundred thousand fish there i would highly 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 recommend that you go to his facebook channel and you follow what he posts uh, obviously they can't post the prices uh, but rest assured the johnny certified amazing beasts amazing prices you've seen it from my boys there the two that i've scooped today 36 centimeter kahaku with the scalation is just ridiculously good on it um watching it in the pond there it looks so much better than it did in the dealers which is it's normally the opposite way around and that's and that the shower wow marty whoa one to watch one to watch and for the price i paid 125 quid a piece 36 centimeter 32 centimeter absolute belters that you're going to be able to see them progress over the next few years I expect this time next year it should be amazing the sumi will be up on the shower um the size will have grown you stay tuned you stay subscribed you'll see why this hobby is absolutely amazing and so much better than watching tv all right because in this generation in this time we are all watching blue blue light screens on macs on computers on tvs on everything and a pond like this beautiful pond that I have with these beautiful fish take you away from the stress from the ping 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 to swim around guided it just makes you feel better this hobby is second to none it's sensational and I really really want you to consider getting involved if you already aren't I'm a beginner I'm a goddamn fool at times uh, with the mistakes I've made but you can learn from my mistakes you can follow my progress and you too can have a pond like mine uh, and a fish like mine. So anyway, I'm waffling on because I'm just a little bit buzzing. I'm going to go now. Please take care. Please like, please subscribe and enjoy the fish.